Hello everyone and welcome to this Lake Controller version 6.8.0 highlights video. Today I'll walk you through the Global Input Router Priority Control. The Global Input Router Priority Control gives you a great global control of all the input routers in the system as well as a great overview of the current state of those. Uh, the Global Input Router Priority is found in the top right corner. The bottom, the bottom can be disabled from the All, View, Controls, and uh, here we can put it to Off, and then we have disabled the Global Input Router Priority Control. But let's put it on again. So from the Global Input Router Priority dropdown, we have uh, four force option. These can be used to force the four different priorities within the input routers. We can also set it to auto, and auto can also be used in conjunction with an alert function. And we also have details, and this will display a detailed summary view of how all the input routers perform. So here I have a medium-sized system, and uh, I have everything in order. Let's press the details to see what the system looks like. Here we can see that of the total 48 input routers in the system, excluding my LM44 in MESA mode uh, distributor frame, I have 48 routers from my amplifiers. We can see that 16 of these are in auto mode, that's expected, but only 15 of those use priority 1. Um, so this would probably be a fault in my system. I have one router not on the first priority. So to find this device, it's just a matter of clicking the cell and I get a detailed description of auto priority 2 frame rack 1.1 .1, input router 1. So now it's just a matter of locating that frame. I know that's on main. Here I have my rack 1.1. .1. So let's go to IO config and I can see this device is on priority 2. So this have a incorrect configuration. So I'll just go here and set it back to priority 1. If I do a new details check, I can see that now I have all my devices on the first priority. So now I would be happy. Let's put it back to priority 2 just to show. No, let's, let's put it on priority 2 and use a different Dante router on priority 1 just to show a different feature. So now we have an input on priority 1 and a different input on priority 2. In details it looks like this. Since it's not the, the source on priority 1 that's currently used on that frame. This would be a great example to show off the alert feature. So if I press alert now we can see that this device shows a warning, input priority drop, since I'm not using the input on priority 1. I'm using my fallback priority. So this is also a good way to get an indication in the system. In this case I also get the global status indicator lit. I can press this one and I can see which device it is that is on. Uh, that's not using the first priority in the input router. Um, the force, I can force priority 1. In this case I get a no input since I don't have any input on this down the channel, so let's replace that with the expected one. Now we can see it's on force, force 1 if I go to details, we can see that we have 16 routers enforced on priority 1. 
If I force priority four instead, I get analog one. Forced 16 routers, forced 16 on priority four. And I can put it back to, globally put it back to auto again. In this case, as you saw, I had LM Mesa excluded. And that's since I have an LM in Mesa mode as my signal distribution device. Uh, let's say I have analog coming in from the console here. So if I use the force priority four, that's not affecting my signal distribution in this case. It's only affecting the PLMs. That's the global input router priority control. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to add them below. See you next time.